is August 5th, 1932, Los Angeles, the 5,000 meter run. Ralph Metcalf's two controversial races are still the major topic of conversation. Today there will be an even greater controversy. The 5,000 meters, first run at the Stockholm Games in 1912, has almost exclusively belonged to Finland. Of the four that have been run, three have been won by the Flying Finns. Hannes Kolomainen in 1912, Pavo Nurmi in 1924, and Vili Ritola in 1928. Now in Los Angeles, Laurie Leighton in the world record holder is the favorite to follow in the footsteps of the former great runners from Finland. There are 14 finalists. They will travel the 400 meter track 12 and a half times. Ralph Hill of the United States goes out to an early lead. But as the race progresses, the front runners change positions with each lap. With three quarters of a lap to go, Laurie Layton then moves past Hill into first place. Hill falls back to third. But Hill is not finished. Coming off the final turn, he is only one yard behind Laurie Layton. Laurie Leighton in Finland first, Ralph Hill, United States second. Almost immediately, a resounding crescendo of sound arises from the 80,000 voices. They are not cheers for Leighton. Rather, the spectators are screaming to the officials that Leighton be disqualified for fouling Hill down the stretch. The replay shows Leighton in a yard in front of Hill. Olympic rules state a runner cannot cross in front of another runner unless he has a two-yard lead but Leitonen moves into Hill's lane. Hill tries to cut inside. Leitonen looks to his right. Hill is not there. As they move toward the finish line, the crowd is already raising their voices in protest. They believe Leitonen has deliberately changed lanes to prevent Hill from passing him. Leitonen continues looking back to make certain of Hill's position. This is the second 5,000 meter race for both men. In the qualifying heat three days before, Hill beat Leighton by 10 yards. Hill has something left. He makes one final bid, trying to push past Leighton on the inside. It is too late. Leighton wins in a photo finish. Several hours later, the judges make the decision official. Laurie Leighton, Finland first. Ralph Hill, United States, second. It is decided that Leighton's changing of lanes in the final stretch drive did not affect the outcome of the race. Today, Ralph Hill still remembers the race from the opening gun. I started fast because I was uh, running in the 13th position, right on, starting onto a turn. I took the lead, and then they were running too fast, I thought, for my ability, so I dropped well back in the middle of the race. In the latter part of the race, Hill made up ground. On the final turn, he was one yard behind. He veered out, and he took me completely by surprise. So I tried to go by on the inside then, and then he veered back into the left. And then he cut back, but uh, later I was able to cut through on the inside, but it was late. I had room enough to go by when we got close to the finish. I think I lost more by the change rather than, the, than actually by breaking my stride. I wish in my mind that my name could have gone up with a gold medal, but I've never been bitter about it. Laurie Leitonen died during World War II. His close friend was Mati Jarvanen, one of Finland's greatest Olympic champions. Here in Los Angeles in 1932, he won the gold medal in the javelin by breaking the world record. This is the Helsinki Olympic Stadium. The Olympic Tower stands 238 feet, six and three-fifths inches high. It is the exact distance Mati Jarvanen threw to win the gold medal. This is Mati Jarvanen today. He was standing in the infield watching the final stretch drive of Laurie Leitinen and Ralph Hill. Laurie Leitinen. Lauri Lehtinen felt badly about the incident. Until the day he died, the memory stayed with him. He was particularly upset that people in the stadium thought 
that he was not an honest sportsman. Lauri Lehtinen was an honorable man. He would have refused the gold medal if it was won unfairly. He was that sort of man. I was standing at the final turn when the incident took place and it is my opinion that he was at the point of exhaustion. This caused him to lose control of his position on the track and he moved into the next line. It was very sad that this true sportsman had to live his entire life with the knowledge that some people believed he won the gold medal unfairly.